All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and as you see before you, this is going to be a new unboxing here at the RC Network. Uh, RC four-wheel drive, uh, when you say that name, you definitely think of scale items, and you definitely don't get any more scale than the new Gilande 2. Uh, this is the second version of this truck, as you have from probably looking at some of RC Four Wheel Drive's products, they have the Trail Finder, and they came out with the Trail Finder Two uh, as a as a re-release of that vehicle. And this is going to be the Jalande Two, um, based on a Defender D90 body from Land Rover. So definitely uh, synonymous with with uh, four wheel drive and off road capabilities. Uh, I think or. RC four wheel drive has done an excellent job as far as the scaleness of this truck. Now, I'm probably not the first person to unbox this, and I wasn't really um, looking at this truck initially, uh, but it definitely caught my eye the more and more that I saw it. And I've always kind of had my uh, interest in a Land Rover Defender. I've always liked those vehicles. They've discontinued those, at least in the U.S. that I know of, and um, it just looks badass. I mean, it, it just looks so cool, especially when you shrink it down to a one-tenth scale size vehicle, and just the scaleism that uh, RC four-wheel drive has brought to this truck. Now, it comes in a pretty much a standard size uh, tenth scale truck uh, box. Uh, this is uh, uh, actually a, a very nice box, to say the least. It has nice graphics on it. I mean, you see this one right here that... Um, uh, RC Four Wheel Drive has on their pretty much their homepage, uh, but I want to show you some of the other uh, sides of the box that definitely caught my eye. Was this guy right here? I mean, that just looks super cool. I mean, it it just screams scale with the the steering wheel, the seats on the back side, the steel spoked wheels. I mean, even the tires. I mean, they look like the BF Goodrich all trains that are actually on my one to one truck. So, I mean, just super cool. I love all of the different uh, scale graphics on the backside here. Um, going into some of the side portions here, it gives you, you know, like the detailed uh, uh, drawings of the vehicle, which is super cool. The flip side over here is the upgrades that it comes, uh, you know, that are available through RC four wheel drive. You know, the King Shocks right there. You have the CVDs that are uh, possible and other scale items there. So pretty cool. Backside, let's flip this thing over. And you're seeing all the features that are included in the box and just kind of points out some of the things. Uh, custom design for true scale, realistic aluminum ladder frame, um, R3 single speed transmission. It goes down the line of all the things that are included on this. Now, the one thing that you have to note on a RC four wheel drive vehicle is there's lots of metal and a little bit of plastic. Where some of the other vehicles out there, it's a lot of plastic and a little bit of metal. So that's kind of the uh, reason why I definitely went with this one. Um, it just goes back to the scalism of this vehicle. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this box open. If you uh, want to check out RC Four Wheel Drive's website, I will have it in the video description along with a link directly to this particular vehicle. Now this is a roller kit, uh, so you're going to receive basically a kit that needs to be somewhat assembled. Um, I believe I've kind of researched a little bit on this, but the axles and certain parts of the transmission, even the wheels and tires are already assembled for you, but you get the pleasure of kind of putting it all together and making it your own. Now, the body is a hard plastic body, and it will need to be painted, um, and it's not a traditional Lexan body, so uh, paint may vary there. I'm actually researching that as well. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. See what we get inside the box. Of course, I said it was a roller, so you are going to have to add all of your own electronics to make it your own. So I have a few things that are planned out for this thing, including that nice uh, Savox 1210, that waterproof one that maybe you guys saw a while back at the RC Network. Currently, that's actually installed on another vehicle, but 
I think it would definitely make sense to uh, put that on this truck because I want to get this one wet. And lots of noise there. We're going to get rid of all that. You know, once again, just the, the box graphics are just second to none. You're seeing the reflection of all my lights right there. Uh, but that's all good. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I got the official RC four-wheel drive seal right there, the factory seal. Let's cut that open. There we go. And I've heard that this box might be a little bit hard to get into. And it is. So let's, uh, let's outsmart the box. There we go. Let's open it from the top. And right there you can kind of see nice owner's manual, thick owner's manual, nice in color. I mean, just, just what you want from not only a scale rig, but, you know, a quality rig. I think that is definitely... Uh, the, the least thing that some of these vendors think about these days is the owner's manual. So inside of this portion, I want to show you some of these things because I've just heard that these things are just awesome. So right here, I mean, look at that thing. That thing is just super nice. I mean, you can really see the hefty. I mean, this thing just weighs. This has some serious weight to it. This is all metal, guys. I mean, all of this stuff. Spur gear is plastic, which is always good. But this thing is solid. It's already built for you, so that's kind of nice. I mean, super nice right there. Let's go ahead and look at the transfer case. I think that was the next thing in here. You know, a, a scale transfer case, all metal again, guys. I mean, this thing is cool. And let's check out one of these axles here. For great things about these axles, you know, once again, all metal. I and mean, this thing is super nice. I mean, just the scaleism to it. All the bolts right there, I mean, just super nice. I think that was the rear. Let's see if there's the front right here. The front with the, uh, got the knuckles already on right there. All metal knuckles as well. Very nice. We're seeing some other metal parts. I mean, everything I've touched so far has been metal. I think that's the rear bumper. Once again, metal. And I think this might be the front, or I might have them backwards. But, you know, once again, these are all metal. Well, let's, let's get some, some sound here. There we go. So, all in all, that, that is just super cool. I'm going to go ahead and move the camera around so you guys can see deep into this box. This box opens up a little bit different than you would expect. So let me go ahead and move that around so you can check it out. All right, and we're back now. And I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the layers of this cake here. A little bit easier to show you this way, but that was the first layer right there that I showed you with the uh, the bumpers. You also have the front and rear axles, the trans or I'm sorry, the transfer case, the transmission. I mean, just super nice, all kind of packed in there. Lots of stuff pre-assembled, so this build is going to go very, very quick. Let's check out the next one here. As I dig deeper into this cool little package that arrived today. Here's the next one, and I just, I can't believe how large this frame is. I mean, if you guys are familiar with the SCX-10, uh, you know, it has that uh, kind of C-channel frame. This thing, I looked at this prior, this thing is solid, guys. I mean, if you look at that, this is all aluminum, and it's huge. I mean, that has to be a good 16 inches in length from side to side. So this thing is just, I mean, if you want a beefy frame, this is it. I mean, it is just, you can't imagine this thing. I, I know you're stuck there in camera land or in YouTube land, but I mean, you just can't imagine how large this thing, and it, this is all steel. I mean, I can't tell you, I mean, how awesome that is. Um, aluminum, I meant actually. So other things that are in this layer right here, you're seeing some uh, shock hoops right there, both front and rear on the far side here, um, other different plates and probably uh, things that go in between the chassis. Uh, looks like you have maybe an electronics plate. You know, once again, these are all metal. Um, you know, back to that uh, uh, lots of metal, a little bit of plastic. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the next uh, bag and stuff that's inside here. Um, there we have it. You got some already assembled bead locks. You got bags of parts. So let's let's take a look a little bit closer. Grab all the bags out of here and grab some of these wheels and tires. These wheels and tires are actually a lot bigger than I thought. I've never owned a 1.55 rig before. But, um, I mean, look at those things. That is almost the exact tread on BF Goodrich All Terrains. Awesome. They're called the Dirt Grabbers, of course, from four -wheel, RC four-wheel drive. You have the nice steel, uh, the old-school steel um, beadlock rims. You know, they have the, the, even the lugs on there look scale. And then, of course, on the flip side, you have the... Uh, the locking screws in right there. So definitely cool. They even have the scale sizing right here, 215, 65, 19, to you know get down to that scale look of it. So awesome. Comes with four of those. Um, bag, let's start with the beginning here. Bag E, this is a heavy bag. This has lots of metal parts and hardware inside of it. Bag F, God, more metal, guys. I mean, I, I can't tell you. You've got some scale shocks in there. RC four-wheel drive shocks again. The battery tray. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces in there. And then bag G. This is the plastic part bag. This is it. That's all this plastic on this thing. I mean, just amazing that uh, there's so little that's plastic. And really, the only thing I'm seeing in there looks like there's a receiver box. And it looks like there's some uh, rod ends. And that's it. Drive shafts, just the center portions of the drive shafts. And that's it. Looks like there's maybe some battery straps. Those aren't plastic, but they sure are not metal. So, uh, you know, all in all, awesome. Last thing in this box, and this is going to be probably another unpackaging that I'm going to do a little bit later. And this is going to be the D90 box. Let me go ahead and pull this out. There we have it. So... Uh, this will include the body, which I hear is over half the build is just included in that body. So I can't wait to get this thing all together and show it to you guys. I have some great electronics uh, planned for this vehicle. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I have lots more to come on this uh, new Jalande 2 from RC 4-Wheel Drive. If you have any questions about this particular truck, please post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.